Last time we completed our fastest black border yet on my favorite map, Cubism, with a time of two hours and 16 minutes, a solid five minutes ahead of the previous first place run on skates. So it's going to be tough to top that to say the least. But today, at the time of filming this, it is officially the first day of winter. And so I want to do a winter map. And so far we have winter park left, alpine run, but I want to take it a little bit harder. I want to go with dark path. I was thinking of erosion because that would be a great winter map as well. It's icy, it's cold as a polar bear, but I have the slightest idea what I would do for chimps and I don't want to lose. I don't mind a little bit of a struggle, but I don't think I can even beat it at this point. I have not tested it. Same with Dark Path, but I think we can actually beat it. I have not played this but one time when the map first came out on hard mode just once. So it's going to be something to say the least. Now, as far as a hero goes, I was thinking about keeping it fun and doing like a Christmas pat because then it's also a winter tower or like a Christmas church hill. But the problem I'm having is there's not that many good places to place towers on this map. So I'm not exactly sure what we should go for here. Because as far as placing towers, you can't place it on this little crack spot there. You can place it there and you have one good spot here. And then you could remove these, which messes with all of this stuff. I don't actually know what removes what yet. I know that if you do this, it removes here and that one removes here. But after that, I don't know. It looks like probably these ones, right? Cause it's cracked right there. So maybe it's building up so you can put like a dartling or something. Is that what it's for? Like I said, completely new to this map. So it's gonna be really fun, but I also think we can do it pretty fast because Ultra Juggernaut seems like an awesome tower. And that's all I'm gonna say. Hang on, Viking Sada would be a solid choice too because she's in the snow. That's actually a good one. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to unlock Gerardo because everyone's been asking me to. And then we're going to use Viking Sada because it's a snow hero. And I want to kind of stick with the theme for today. And then if she's not doing too well or she's not as good as I thought she would be, let's switch to Geraldo because I feel like merchants belong in the snow too. They belong everywhere, which is perfect. I mean, we can place her here, but maybe she's not even the best choice. All right, Geraldo it is. Let's hit the timer. Let's go. I can't talk about this anymore. We just got to play. I think Geraldo will be a solid choice because then we can place like a dart monkey up here. And then what I was thinking too is we could just go straight for Geraldo's stuff. And like, I think they'll fit in every little nook and cranny here, which we can just kind of just overload this whole thing, which is pretty cool. And I've always liked the fact that like if you give him the pickle juice, it gives all of his little turrets the pickle juice. So we might actually be able to get like an insane time with Geraldo. I have not used him yet in this run because I just unlocked him. I wanted to stick with the winter theme, but you know what? I'm not a fan of Churchill. We overuse Sada and Pat Fusty is just awful for this map. I don't even know where you could even place the big guy where he'd even be useful. So we'll stick with this for now. But I think we can get through pretty much like all of the beginner stuff just with these turrets, which is pretty wicked. And then just in case like something catches you off guard, you can just place a couple of these down and then you have your front of the map covered or do those go away after a couple of rounds? That'll be nice to know actually. I am completely new to Geraldo, so any tips you guys wanna leave in the comments, let me know and then see if I figured them out naturally. I used him a couple of times here and there and I know the basics of him, like I'll throw pickle juice on things that I shouldn't. I'll use him for camo, I'll slow things down with the glue and I'll use his little uh, money guy here. But other than that, I am not a Geraldo expert. But on another note, you guys left me a bunch of comments on what you want to name the dart monkey. And I put them into a poll if you want to check those out. And so far, the leading name on the poll is Curious George. That's what you guys want to call the dart monkey is Curious George. So I ask you at the beginning of this video, what do you want to name the boomerang monkey? Give me your best names and I'm going to choose the best four or five to put them into a poll. And then you guys get to choose the forever name of the dart monkey. A few of you mentioned to name my new baby daughter that I just had over the last weekend as one of the monkeys, but I think if I was to do that, it was gonna be the boat or the druid because those are my favorite, especially the boat. But I think a druid would be good too, and that's what we'll name one of them coming up in the future. But for now, what should I name the boomerang? Just something simple like boomer? Oh, See, we could just place these down and then just do that, and that's so cool. It's like, do we wanna get camo or should we even bother with camo? We don't have lead though, huh? Now, if I put this here, they all see camera, right? Now, if I put this here, do they all see that? No, you have to do each one special. That's kind of lame, to be honest. But I mean, it works. Can you place these like up here? Oh my gosh, that is so cool. We might get like one of our fastest times on like one of an advanced map like this just because. That's so pretty cool. And then I think what we'll do is we'll just get this guy for lead and just go with one of these. Oh, I didn't think of that too on this map. We can actually grab towers like this and then just use the see-through ability thing. Oh, that's actually not bad. That'll cover our camo, that'll cover, I think, I think, okay, cool. 
because now Geraldo cannot see camo. So actually right off the go, what's your favorite thing to use with Geraldo? What do you do with him? Do you use him for the money? He's just so versatile that I guess it's just overwhelming to me and that's kind of why I just don't use him. Oh, that was a, you can place him that tight in here. Oh my goodness, this thing's crazy. Like if I got rid of that dart monkey, I feel like I could place two more of them. Oh my gosh, look at that. And then I think I could even give them the fire so then when they just have Jerry's fire, oh my gosh. This is gross. This is too good. And then I could like make this guy a super monkey on a tiny, tiny, tiny platform because you could never place a super monkey there naturally. Dude, he's kind of broken. Like I knew he was good, but I never knew why he was good. And I think this is why is because you can use him for something like a speed run and make it stupid. I haven't seen a balloon since we started. And then I think if I just buy this one, we'll be able to take down the Moab very quickly, but I'm not going to. We're just going to do it naturally so we can actually let's do this then. Let's do this, just buy 10 of these. I hope there's some kind of hotkeys for this. I don't have time to check, unfortunately, but this sucks. And then we'll put it like right here too, actually. Just pop them all right there. This is so cool. Why is he so good? There we go, there we go. And then it's done. Oh my gosh, did you even see it? Cause I sure didn't. That is so cool. Okay, oh, come on, you're leading off with the collection. That's no way good to start this. That's pretty bad. Now all we have to do is just hit advance once and it's right there because it's a newer map, which is really cool. So primary only, same little game here. Let's hit that play button. And then we'll, I don't know if I should even place him up here though, cause I can get more. Actually, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Why not, why not, why not? I think we should just run this for a while. I'm glad I went with this. Everyone's been telling me to get Geraldo for so long. Like someone literally just left in the last video, the last speed run video on Cubism said, just get Geraldo you bought. And I, I get it, I, will, I agree with that because at this point, I feel like I'm just avoiding it just to avoid it because he's really good. So you're telling me on primary only, I can get this guy up to a super monkey by using the super monkey thing. That's pretty cheap. I don't think that's going to be allowed. That's not going to happen for sure. How long does glue last? Does it last an entire round? Let's see. Like it should last the entire game. I would hope so. And I know that Geraldo also has that bug too, or at least he used to, where if you gave somebody a sharpening stone and then went home, like exited the game and then came back, you would still have the sharpening stone, which I found pretty exciting and I would use it all the time because why waste the money and forget to use it just for no reason? Look how tight you can place these things. They're on top of each other. Oh my goodness. I was wondering why you would actually even use these and I think that's why, right? It's because of the close knit range and the fact that you can give them all a pickle juice. I think that's how that, yeah. Okay, because if you think about it, they're $210, but this one's only 170 and I don't see them being any better, right? Do they have like an extra thing of Pierce or something? So my point was, why are they, why are they useful? And it must be because you can just cluster place them just like we're doing here. And pretty much Geraldo, is he gonna really solo this entire speed run? Is he better than Sada? See, this is why I love this series so much. It's because I find out new things all of the time. And by that, I mean, I used Etienne for cubism and it's our fastest run. Does that mean Etienne's the fastest hero? Or is it just that I was using it perfectly or is it that the map's easier? All I know is that I find out new things about this game and I also find out things that I'm pretty sure I knew already, like Churchill is not good. If you wanna argue with me, you can in the comments below, but he ruined our last run that we did in like another brick. And okay, there's our answer right there. Warren Hero's cape, not gonna happen. So we need to get some kind of lead here. So I guess we'll go with, can we place a boomer here or no? Is that too tight? Yeah, and we actually can't see through anything. So I guess, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, that wasn't good. Not really paying attention there, that was bad. Now, how do I get to this guy? Okay, so we're gonna go all the way up and then we're gonna go camo. We could have just used the camo thing, but I think this is gonna be a safer choice. And then I actually don't know what to do though for everything else. I guess this will be just everything else. <laughs> I mean, that's all I could do. Oh, I could have used one of these spikes for camo. I need to remember that in something like alternate balloon rounds, or even let's say apocalypse, just something that it looks like it's gonna wreck me. I can use those spikes last second. I really need to utilize that. I need to stop being a dumb dumb. Yeah, none of these can see through the wall. So it's kind of a bad play here, but just in case he'll be our cleanup. Yeah, this will be a solid cleanup, that's fine. And then it'll be a little slower than I want, but I think, oh dude, we can use Jerry's fire too. We'll have three of them. <laughs> this is stupid. This is kind of dumb. I kind of wish I didn't use Jerry. He's too good. Why didn't you guys warn me? I'll tell me to get him, but he's kind of just broken and it's kind of bumming me out. Cause now I can just use camo. Like I had a little bit of struggle there cause the juggernaut wasn't as good or he's too slow using that bottom path. But now I just go like this. And now every single one of these sees Camo, that is so crazy. And then I think on 39, yeah, just start giving everybody fire. Cause I know it'll last more than one round. Does it tell you how many rounds though? 10 rounds of fire, are you kidding me? I could put some glue there too to like slow it down once it pops open. 
This is nuts. I could actually just go like this and just use that. <laughs> that is so crazy. This guy, okay, I'm never gonna get over this. This is just too much. All right, so deflation. Obviously, we're gonna go our boy Jerry, save some money for him at the end there. But I think what we'll do just to be on the safe side is we will go with uh, this one actually. Actually, no, I might've messed that up. We're just gonna go with this one for deflation. Okay, so let's actually redo that real quick. I think he's our safest choice to make sure we don't mess up. Yeah, that's the best option, I think. I'll put that guy on strong. Just because I didn't wanna take a chance and have too many balloons getting down this way. And I think, I think, I think, I think he can take everything down. Now, if he can't, that's a big problem, but I think we'll be okay. And worst case scenario, I could sell and buy like a bomb at the end if we're gonna lose, but we're not gonna lose, we'll be fine. Have you ever wondered why the crossbow master can shoot so fast? Like it doesn't make sense because like I shoot archery, I have a traditional bow and it's much faster than a crossbow. Like crossbows are really slow. So I wonder why he's not just like a Quincy, but maybe because there's already a Quincy, I'm just thinking here. Shooting it out loud, but there we go. That one is actually really easy. There's a poopy brown border and then we're on to medium and I'm just gonna keep placing our boy right here because he's good and he can just keep doing what he needs to do. And then I can just place a super up there. Like, is this is this cheating? I don't think it's cheating. I think it's awesome. And then just start lining the tracks with this guy. And then eventually we can get an alchemist, but I hope that an alchemist doesn't put it on the crossbows, right? That would be kind of goofy. Can I fit one up here too? Like, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, you really can? No way. That is so cool. I really should get his Quincy action figure pretty fast though, because that's at least something to make us some money. I don't think we're gonna need any money to be honest, because we are on like still media mode, but it would still be cool to have. And now we'll never get it. Cause if you've never used this before, like it just keeps running up the tab. It's at 1330 and then it's gonna go up more and completely unobtainable. Yeah, now 1460, you'll never get it unless you like have a crazy farm going. Which, just like real life, right? Like, if you buy investments too late in life, it's hard to make any money off of them. But you buy them early, you make a lot of money. That's just how it goes. But I don't know about you guys, but I really enjoy this map. It just, it has this nice, dark and dreary feel to it. And like, I live in Southern California, and the last few days it's been really rainy, which is really nice. But when it gets rainy here, well, I'm guessing when it rains anywhere, to be honest. But when it rains here, it's just really dark and dreary. And what makes it worse is you hear ambulances all the time, because as soon as the water touches the ground, everybody's wheels turn sideways in the wrong way and they all crash into each other out here in SoCal. Don't know why, but it happens. And so it's like a dr dark and dreary thing going on. Oh my gosh, see, I can just do this now. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. Let's put one of here for safety just because I'm getting like a little bit big headed using this strategy. I don't know why I'm doing this. Can I get this guy up at all or can I not? What I mean by that is like, can I actually upgrade him before I put the super monkey cape or come on, man, why are you doing this to me? Just put the thing down. <laughs> or do I have to just have like a pure monkey to get the cape? That's not something I wanna test now. We'll test it later when we have more capes and more money. But I don't like that these things are starting to chase now. You know, I could always just buy other things. Like it doesn't have to be completely solo strat with this and actually it just makes me go slower. So I might as well just get one and just go like this. Same thing I did earlier. That's actually pretty good. But yeah, I really like the dark and dreariness of this map. I think it fits it very well. It's like the old park path, but it cuts down the middle because it's dark and mysterious. I just think that is such a cool feature of this whole thing. And I'm about to get a super monkey here if I don't mess it up. Oh, no, no, no. I need to get lead first. So let's just pop down a sniper just because I need to get the feel of Geraldo and at the map at the same exact time. That's a little sketchy, but I think we can figure it out. Um, as far as camo, we have this guy and I think that's good enough. I'm gonna keep placing these ones and then I'm thinking, no, I just need 1500 bucks, right? There it is, that was so cool, that's so cool. Note to self though, placing his dart monkey up here kind of sucks, like it's very hard to get him there. So I'm thinking I should go as low as I can and then place more of the little ballistas there and then more above him as well, just because it's kind of awful. And I think, I think, I think, I think for round 40, can't I just place this and then as soon as it like kind of scares me, just drop it and go? So like go like that. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Okay, 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 okay. And we get this for 10 rounds. Like we get this for 10 rounds, that is insane. So in the meantime, I can get a village here, make everybody faster, including the super. Oh, no, no, camo, 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 okay, camo. Dude, I literally can't click this thing. That was a bad idea. Okay, maybe, there we go. But now that he can see camo with the village, I'm just gonna get the longer range one and it's oh, purple, 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 eat it, purple. Oh, I hate purple. Okay, what can we do to fix that though? That was kind of stupid of me. Those should have popped those. They can see camo and they can pop purple. So that was a little weird to me. How about this one? Oh, that's good, huh? That's really good. If I can get his range long enough. Dude, this is such a joke. This is such a joke. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's not lose though. Let's, let's not and say we did. Do these pop camo? They don't pop camo. Oh my goodness, we have 10 lives left. Let's stop being stupid for a second here. Let's just grab a druid in range of the village, and this will be our purple popping. 
I can't believe this. I'm just kind of getting flustered here and I kind of almost messed it up. But again, we're learning. So these are not good for popping purple. We've learned that. I'm going to give them some fire here because why not? Let's get a bunny too. I like the bunny. And just keep giving everybody Jerry's fire. I mean, and then just keep placing these things. I don't see how it could be any a problem. And this guy's a waste. He can't even see the track. That's my fault for kind of putting it in that spot. I'm very flopsy right now. Like, this isn't a good run, but it's not terrible. I just, to lose on something like, what are we on? Just regular medium. So now we know our weaknesses though. And so we'll just put, maybe we'll put Geraldo here instead because he doesn't have to be there. And that could be a good spot for, let's say like a ninja or a spike factory or a bomb or just something in the way. So we don't like completely mess it up here. Now, before we go too far, we have everything to win. I want to see if I upgrade this guy and then give him a cape. What does that do? So nothing. It just goes away. You just waste that upgrade. So that's kind of stupid. What are you going to do? But I'm going to give a bunny here and then the bunny is going to help out. There you go. Bunnicula is going to start doing all the attacking now. That's awesome. And then can't we just go like this once the thing comes out? It's like, get a genie? Yeah, just get a genie. Okay. 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 That made up time. I'm happy now. We just got to figure this out. Just got to use our big brains or our little brains, whatever is in that head of mine and knock this out. So here, we're gonna put Geraldo here, but he can't see through things? Oh, you stupid merchant. You're such a waste. Okay, that's fine though, I don't care. If he can't get to this, that's a big bummer too. Boom, there we go, there we go. Come on, Geraldo, help us out here, buddy. And we have no water, right? Like there's no water on this map, even if you unlock it. So that's not gonna work. So to make sure we don't lose early on, I guess I'll just get a lead popping sniper and then eventually go with like a middle pass sniper. I really need to start remembering to get this Quincy action figure, but that wouldn't have been a good place on this one just because I wouldn't have had any, no, I could I didn't have enough money. I couldn't have survived. I would have just lost the balloons. So I have five ballistas, but then I was thinking to myself, we need to be smart about this because the purples really wrecked us last time. So I'm gonna grab another sniper. You think you should be able to put him on the ledge, but I guess not. So we're gonna place him all the way over. Oh wow, okay, so you sort of can. And we're gonna go with camo on this one, and then we're gonna go with the top path. And the reason why is because if I can get to the middle path bouncing bullets, I don't think we'll have any problems with balloons. We just gotta worry about the Moab, which all we need to do is get this one up, and we're good, because then we can use Geraldo's ability. Because in the last video, I was talking about how Sada and Benjamin are great for mobs because Ben has the Trojan. So all you have to do is attack it and it goes away forever and it disappears. And then Sada, you can use her first ability once you chop, chop, chop it open. But Etienne, the hero we were using, eh, kind of dookie when it comes to a Moab because yeah, you can break it down with his drones, but his drones have a huge delay and they can't clean up the underneath. So it's kind of bad. But Geraldo, my boy, if you have all of his little ballistas down and then you use his little... This guy right here for 650, the tax zone thing, plus some glue, plus some sharpening, plus some this, plus some totems, plus some spikes. Holy cow, you can just wreck everything. And I can't tell for sure, but it looks like the ballistas add to Geraldo's pop count. Is that the truth? Same with like this. Will this add to Geraldo's pop count? And this, and this, let's see actually. So he has 4,700 and he's not attacking personally, so it must be the truth, right? Okay, that wasn't the worst. I mean, I thought those fires would have done better, but okay, that's not bad. I answered my own question. Jerry's not even looking at the front of the track, so I know he's not attacking, but we're still getting the pops. The sniper's doing most of the work, but when he's not, we're getting them all. So that's really cool. I think that's how people do like those two mega pops challenges with random towers, right? Because if you use Jerry's fire, you end up with a lot of damage on, let's say, let's just say we had a zero, zero, zero boat and you gave it Jerry's fire. He's gonna do a lot of damage, which is really cool considering he can't do that much with his base power. But I'm just gonna use a little bit of the supply drops. It's not the best money in the world, but I think with these two, all of our camos are covered. Uh, this one should pop all of those lead camos, I believe on 59, I think. If not, we'll just use Jerry's ability on something else. I don't know. And then I'm just gonna keep placing these up until the very end. I don't they don't do much, but heck, if you can place them in that weird of a spot, I think it's actually really cool. And if these last 10, I kind of feel like it's Glacial Trail. Like I have to know how many rounds they last, but at least this gives a a very nice indication and it lasts 10 rounds that's a long time so i should just do this on round 50 every time and then on hard mode do it on round 70 every time and just leave them there because then it'll give me more time for them to regenerate so i can place even more down place a genie down does he not work because he's behind the wall oh my gosh is that really like that i did not know that that is actually really crazy so he has to be in the right way the bunny seems to be working though, which is good, but he's also in range too, so I'm not sure. We'll have to keep playing with this because I'm not exactly 100% on what's going on here, but we're already on a pop lips, which is gonna be gross. I don't even know if I should start with my boy. 
Geraldo. I'm not going to, to be honest. I'm going to start with a Druid and place him here, I guess. Dude, is that bad? Is that bad? I think it is. Okay, we're going to start with this guy. And the reason why is because I want to use Jerry's his thing that he has. So if I can get up to the top path first, we're going to be okay. I don't know if I can. That's a lot of money. Maybe though. Maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, I could place this guy too. Okay, that's not bad. We'll place him right up here. Yeah, that's not bad at all. This is working. This is working. I don't know, very slow play on my part. It's working, but oh wow, that was really bad. And I don't know if we're ever gonna get there. 10.50 is a lot. I feel like I should just buy something else. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, what else can we buy here? No, 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 if we buy something now, we're done. We gotta get it. We got to get there and then we'll be on the complete safety side. I just thinking maybe I should do like hard thorns like faster though, maybe, cause we are losing a lot here, but we're so close, we're so close. But we're losing so much, oh my goodness. And every time we lose one, that means we're not getting it either. Okay, I have to buy this. That's that's not good. I'm gonna try to do it with this and it doesn't work. Oh, that was a big, big fat no-no waste. Okay, so let's just actually get this guy anyway. Forget about his money for now. We're just gonna start placing his stuff down. We'll use this for if we need to. And we'll put our free dart monkey down. So I'm hoping triple darts will work, but since it's so high up, I just don't think it will. I'm a little worried about it, but it's doing pretty good. And then if, maybe if I go with the top path, top path pierce one, it'll be okay. This is not this is not working out how I wanted it to. But you know what's crazy? Even with those losses in the beginning, just one loss is not bad enough that we could still have a solid like top 10 spot because we've made more mistakes before and we can just kind of clean up with what we've done and come back strong by moving a lot faster. And this is an advanced map, so we only have to we're going against only another brick right now. And that time was at two hours and fifty minutes. So we're doing pretty solid. And what I'm gonna do is sell this guy now. And then we're gonna buy this just so we don't lose. And then we'll get some camo somewhere else. We'll get this one to camo right here. Boom. Okay, there we go. There we go. Are you serious right now? You're not going to win? What are you doing? Okay, there you go. You're the tough guy. You're the tough guy. That was actually very scary there for a second. But since this guy has camo, we should be okay. And we have one little dude there. I should be using like glue more and stuff like that. Just I should be using my abilities more. And I'm just too nervous to, I guess. But I did forget that we have a really, really nice camo popping power. And it's this guy right here using his camo potion. For only 200 bucks, it'll make any tower camo. That's actually really amazing. We need to utilize that more. Probably should have put this guy up here on this power, but what are you going to do? I panic so much with Apocalypse, it's ridiculous. So I really don't know what to do about the Moab. So I guess I'll just put one on Jerry and then put one over here. But I don't want to waste all that much money because I really... I really got to make sure I have enough for this farm. Otherwise, we're going to be down for. So, okay, there's our farm. I'm happy. Now I can buy stuff. I'll buy Jerry's fire there. And then what I think would be pretty nice is this one. Right. Oh, my gosh. 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 Camo, camo, camo. Nope. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, see, I got to really pay attention with Jerry. I'm getting too relaxed with this, and that's not a good plan. But at least I didn't fail for once, so that's good. So now we'll just do this one, and we'll buy his stuff, and we'll get this now. Okay, cool, 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 cool. And then here's my plan. I'm going to get rid of this one. And we're going to put this here because that ball will help a lot. And we'll camo him too. Might as well. Oh my gosh, this is scary. Why is it always so scary? Give me Jerry. What's he doing here? Use the fire. Oh, no, 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 no. This is so too much for me. Okay, so here's the plan now. We have one thing of camo left. I'm just going to use it now there just to not be in the bad zone. And then he does it anyway. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. No, we're still not good. Oh my goodness. This is a hard map. I'm losing my mind already. We got to come back way stronger than this. This is too much. And it's because of the camo, I swear. It's because of the stupid camo. And I'm going to do it again because Jerry starts back here. Okay, let's just sell this one and buy this one. Call it a day. I'm done. At least I didn't lose again, but oh my goodness, that is stressful. Let's just give everybody fire. See if we can make this a little faster here. But this is the plan for chimps, which I don't even have a plan because I haven't even thought about it yet. But I'm thinking if I can get an ultra juggernaut in here with this there and then an alchemist, I think we can have like an ultimate little destroyer with maybe like a plane. But I can't believe this is happening to me right now. Reverse is not that bad, actually. Let's be real. So we'll just place you here. Let's actually save him and then we'll buy this one. So now what we're going to do is we're going to save up to like $1,200. And the reason why is because I think I could buy Jerry and then his little golden guy and we should be okay does anybody else just totally lose their minds and panic when you like are getting flustered on apocalypse on impoppable or chimps or whatever you can kind of stop the round or whatever but on apocalypse it just makes my head spin and i get so scared and i have no idea how much this guy costs so i'm thinking just 1200 is a solid play uh let's make it 1300 just to be safe i don't want to screw up here let's wait till round nine how about that i just don't want to mess up okay there we go and we'll place him down and then we'll buy his jerry stuff and it was only 750 
Oh no, that was perfect. I'm glad we waited for that. We would have been bad. That would have been bad, bad call. And we'll get our camo guy here. Now I'm just gonna be testing this out right now because I've never done it. But what I'm thinking is I can just sell this at a good time and get $20,000 for the crossbow master and then call it a day. Now I don't know how viable that is because this thing's kind of growing on money very, very, very slowly. But we do need some lead though, huh? So let's actually just go with this one for lead, call it easy. I just forget the most basic things and then there's something about Apocalypse that just stresses me out. It's just because it doesn't stop and you can't slow it down more than the, what you would regularly slow it down. And so it's just, ugh. and then you're not getting any money besides your farms, but you are getting a lot of money because you're getting a lot of balloons. It's just so much going on. It just stresses me out. And I'd be hard to believe that none of you like panic like I do. Like there has to be someone else out there that feels my pain and just like overwhelms and goes, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It doesn't matter for this map, but can you put a boat, a bottom path flavored trades and then sell it for more? Does that work that way? Cause that'd be really cool. And why does everyone call this an NFT? Like it just looks like an action figure. If I had my dart monkey, I'd put it on the screen right now, but I bought an action figure dart monkey not too long ago. So it just looks like it's the Quincy version, which where did they come out with those? Maybe they didn't sell that well. So they stopped like giving them out or stopped selling them. But I really liked that thing. Now for round 40, we're gonna have a problem. This is only $12,000 and we need 20,000. So we can't do it for 40. So I'm guessing what we should do. I don't actually know here. I don't, I don't know. I'm just kind of panicking here. Just doing a little bit of weird stuff. And then what we'll do is this, and then we'll go like this, put them on 1100. And then this should be able to clean it up hopefully. But just in case we got this guy, we'll watch how this goes. Oh, not bad. I like that a lot. Now I can get rid of you cause you're stupid. Get rid of you. And then I could sell you. And now we got a cross from, whoa, 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 whoa. Where did my math go wrong on that one? This one then? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. How did I mess that up by so much? Oh my goodness, let's not say we didn't. But there we go, that's fine, now game over. And we know that he can already take down every round very quickly because we did it on deflation. It doesn't really matter if it comes out the left side, the right side, we know that on this map it's okay. We've seen him do it, so just adding more to it won't hurt at all either. So now we got a primary training one. Can we buff this guy with anything? I mean like just fire, right? Like that's all we can do to like kind of speed this up a little bit. You can't sharpening stone it. You can pickle juice, but that's not gonna help. Ooh, bunnies. I'd say it's a little overkill, but I have Bunicula who's going ballistic here. You can see the pops going up, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's all him. That is super cool because I don't have any ballistas down or nothing. We have a crossbow master, an arcane spike, and a recursive. Like this is a little overkill. I'll take it though. We gotta make up every lost second that we can for that apocalypse just not only did we lose in the beginning of Apocalypse, luckily it was early on, so it wasn't the worst hit to us, but then I just slowly played through the rest. Now the next thing on my mind is what towers can I start this map off with to be able to get Jerry and his Quincy action figure in time because I don't want to start with him right off the go. Ooh, Silver Border looks really cool on this map. Take a second to revel in that. That was awesome. All right, now let's see here. The best one I think would just be like a boomerang up here. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm just gonna run with a boomerang because now I have this long range. And I can put this guy up here because we could turn this into a super later. So how about like right up there? This isn't bad. This isn't bad at all. It's not the best spot as far as like it's gonna take forever, but it's a guaranteed win. And then we can grab Jerry and his money early on. But I'm kind of thinking like, should we just not do this though? Like maybe we should go with this one first every time. So if this one can hang on on its own, which I think it should be able to. We can buy Jerry, he's 680, so I'm gonna save up $1,500, which I can just sell this guy for $600, $500, $600. For $600, I could sell him and buy a Jerry with the thing, if this guy can hold him on, but I don't know if he can. Let's just give it a go, actually. Okay, we're gonna try, we're gonna try. We're gonna sell by, buy this one here now. Go, 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 okay, we did it, we did it! And we got this guy here for the win. Okay, I like it, I like where we're going with this. Now we'll buy a sniper here to speed it up a little bit. So I didn't really know what to do here. I have this sniper here, but I realize it's probably not the best idea. I have a lot of wonky towers, but I'm thinking the Glive Ricochet will be good because if it misses, it'll go all the way down and kind of trail it through and possibly through there maybe. Not terrible. I mean, I'm not seeing like terrible, terrible results. This thing's building up slowly, but surely I'm thinking I should turn it into a farm instead though. I'm wondering if this is the best path to success, just leaving down a druid and letting everything kind of stay up front. I'm just not sure what towers to go for. I thought a juggernaut would be great, and that's what we're going to do on chimps to guarantee our win. But for this, I'm thinking we should do something else. Because we don't necessarily need it to be a foolproof plan back here. We need everything to be done at the front. So druids, planes, helicopters. Ooh, a helicopter could be solid, actually. And since we have this guy, we can maybe buy it pretty quickly. Hmm. I like that one actually. 
Or like a mad would be pretty cool too. I just realized I greeted for a farm, but I have nothing that'll actually pop a Moab. That's actually not good at all. Really nothing will except for the sniper. Let's actually do this too then. Okay, let's do this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is that good? That was super stupid of me. <laughs> Gosh, I need to pull my head out my butt, I swear. All right, let's grab something that can actually work. And I already forget what I said I was going to do. Okay, a plane with a camo on the plane. I think that's a good pl plan. And then once we get enough money through the Quincy action figure, we'll sell it for this guy. Because he is just passive income right now, which is awesome. But now one thing I do like about the helicopter, it costs a little bit to get the village and then to build him up to a 320. But once you have this, now you have a fast firing, camo seeing, lead popping helicopter here, which is really, really, really good. And once we get $21,000, we can buy this up to an Apache. So I'm thinking we should sell this once we get enough for it. Or keep doing what we're doing because it's working and buy another farm. Dude, what are you doing? Buy more farms, more money. We're keeping everything at the front. I don't think it could go any farther to the front. So if, as I say that, we're like slowly taking down Moabs like terribly. So I think what I'll do is I'll use this guy to save up for the Apache as well. So this one's tw 11, this one's seven. So I think I can almost sell this and just get it. So here's what we'll do. We'll greet a little bit more. We'll sell both of these. We'll sell it and we'll sell it and we'll buy this one. There we go, Apache Dart Ship. Get him, buddy. Get him. And we'll greed one more. And the reason why is because as soon as I have enough, I'm going to get the Apache Prime and call it a day. That'll be our first hard mode. Because I am just, I'm so lost at what I'm doing. Like, this is a bad tower to be using. This is a stupid tower to be using. This one's good. He's always good. And these will all sell for 20000 total. So I only need $28,000. And then I could sell everything for a Prime and call it a day. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Does this give you lives back? Drop the delicious drink anywhere and watch as it rejuvenating powers restore lost lives and reset ability cooldowns. I could have done that on Apocalypse. No, I didn't have enough for it. But this is my last bunny and I think the bunny is going to help out a lot too. I just really like it. I have a bunny. If you haven't seen my old videos, I would like post photos of him during the videos. But I have a Holland Lop and he's the cutest rabbit in the world. Like I don't care what kind of pet you have, my rabbit's cuter. That thing is adorable. And this is the first. I have the Quincy ability thing back. I can buy it. That's how much money I have. Might as well too, right? Because doesn't it always make more? It'll take a couple rounds, but I think I'll make more every time I have it. So as long as I just don't get rid of it right away, we're okay. But I was like a couple bucks shy of just buying the Apache Prime, but I'm such a greed ball when it comes to money. I love money. Money's the root of all happiness. I think that's what that saying says. But I'm messing around too much. Like for real, let's just get rid of this stuff and then buy the Prime so we don't get screwed over here. And then... We just put this guy here. I think that'll work. Get it to an overdrive. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then attack zone if we have $20,000. What I find super crazy about this map, since I've never really played it before, is that how much my strategies change. And I always just thought I was like getting better at the game, which, you know, we're able to think on our feet and get the stuff done. But I guess I'm just very comfortable on those other maps because I play them a lot. And what I mean by that is like, these are sporadic buys, sporadic towers. We're not going as fast as we possibly can. And it's because I'm not familiar with the map. And it just so crazy to me how much things change based on small, I mean, that's not a small thing. I mean, knowing the map is probably very large and necessary, but I just think that these plays, at least how it feels in my head, I'm not sure how it's portraying to you guys on the other end watching, but it feels like to me that I'm just sporadically placing things and it's, it's stressful, but also fun. And I just don't even know where it's going to take us. But what I was thinking though, I think attack zone and an ultra juggernaut right here will be a solid, solid chimp strategy. If we can make it work, this could be super solid. And then have a village right here with everything all decked out like that. Put an alchemist here. And now you have this ultimate little bruiser that cleans up everything. Meanwhile, this guy breaks everything. And then you'll have the alchemist on him. And if we could fit like a, oh, dude, if we could fit this guy here. Oh, we can too, can't we? Oh, that's really cool. We can make this thing wicked. Okay, no more collecting. I just put a stop to that right now. But we are on an advanced map, so we're going to be getting a lot more money than normal. And a lot more trophies, I want to think. Or, what do you call them? Totems, totems, totems. Okay, magic monkeys only. Sorry, my head's like blanking out right now. Okay, so this is actually really, really exciting. We have to do this right. Um, I'm thinking here. Can he stop them all on his own though? I don't know. Ooh, that's not good. That's kind of scary. Because then we could just waste a lot of time. But if we get this, I never even realized that. Oh, dude, you did it. You did exactly what I didn't want you to do. Now you're going to take forever to get to the next round there. Okay. So I'm thinking here we'll go like this instead and buy this one. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they're, all this. they're all doing terrible. My point is, is that if we can get a Geraldo, that means we'll have his uh, Quincy action figure. We've never had that on 
this mode. We've never had that much money. So we'll be able to get the Spirit of the Forest way quicker and end this so much faster with him. I never even thought of that. I think it's really, 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 really awesome. I've just gone for a 202 because I tell you guys every single time, like 202 Ninja can get you to pretty much any hero on any map for the most part. I mean, we might lose like a couple bit of balloons here, but look how good this is. And then once we get 1500, I think what I'm gonna do here is get this one here and then buy his action figure right now. Boom, 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 okay. Oh, that was scary, but we did it. We did it, we did it, we did it. And now we're gonna have tons of money. This is actually really exciting. And then I can start doing this if it's like, just to speed it up. This is actually really good. He's a great tower, man. He's so good. Cause now this is gonna take forever to get done. So we just place it there and we finish up the round faster when we have these little hiccups. I like that a lot. And this is where my spirit of the forest is gonna be. So I think this is pretty cool and pretty broken to be honest. And I did have someone reach out in the comments saying that it was hard for them to follow as a guide. So they wish I had like an uncut version. I wanted to do an uncut version, but apparently I didn't save all of them. So I'd only have a few that I could even upload unfortunately. And so you're stuck with these, but I do my best to tell you every time I have an upgrade that isn't obvious. Like I don't want to tell you every single upgrade because then this would just be a tutorial rather than like a fun experience and speed run. But when I have to make a crazy play or do something crazy with a, an ability or buy something that's out of the ordinary, I try to make my best effort to tell you. So hopefully you guys are able to use it as a guide if you want to, but the main intention for these is just to be some fun background noise, background balloons popping. Maybe you'll learn a few things here or there, but mainly just to kind of hang out and chill and have a good time with some balloons. At least that's what I want to do, but I get so stressed playing this. Oh my gosh. Like sometimes like we're on the cusp of doing something great and then I mess it up and I get so embarrassed and it's so bad. But I think if we go like this, this should be okay. And then, oh, we're going to lose a lot of this to this stupid, stupid guy there. I swear, I swear, I swear. That wasn't the worst cleanup, but like, I don't like that the alchemist can't just put all of his juice on this guy. If he did, the ninja would be amazing. Not that the ninja is not amazing, it's just the fact that like the alchemist is terrible. I hate, I just hate the alchemist, let's be real. He's just not good at things. He just makes everything harder than it needs to be. Now we need $37,800, so I think we can get it before 63 just because this thing's gonna help us out and get in there. But we don't have a good enough popper for the Moab, so we'll see how that plays out. Oh wow, I can just place another one here. Let's just do that for now. So now we have two alchemists making sure that this guy can pop down the Moabs every single time. That's golden. It really is so slow at popping Moabs. Oh my goodness. We already have enough for him before 59? Heck yes, that is really cool. We've never had that before on this mode. That'll make this 10 times faster, 10 times easier. And then we get to throw in a couple of these guys at the end to make it even more broken. Go all the way up with this one. And now we got that. Oh yeah. Plus we get $1,000 per round with this guy. So we're gonna start making oodles of money and get a bunch of these towers. I don't know if you guys know, but Spirit of the Forest is my favorite tower. Like my favorite upgrade. My favorite base tower is gonna be the boat. Just regular old 000 boats, my favorite base tower. But my favorite upgrade is the Spirit of the Forest. I love this tower. His name is Moose Jesus and he's he's perfect, right? But l lately I've been actually able to use him even in Chimstone, even on expert map glacial trail I was able to use my favorite tower which I have not been able to do since this game came out because the spirit was never good but recently they've missed made him great and it's so refreshing to use such a cool tower and it's actually relatively fast considering that we don't see any balloons we'll never see another balloon we're just gonna see maybe the Moab class but I just find it so exciting oh now we have Bunnicula already too that's pretty cool but now that we're on 71, we can just start giving everybody fire to make this even crazier faster. Because again, they're 10 rounds. But what I would like to do is see what happens once you do this. So you get one there. So we need to practice here. Two there for 500. So $2,000. And what's the thousand? Oh, right there? What? Okay. So 250, 500. I've never seen that top one before. What's this one do? Oh, no way. You could do a really, really good sniper right here, like a shrapnel shot. But here is what I'm talking about. So you need $3,000 to get there though. Was it 3,000? I think it was a thousand bucks, right? Or was it more? But either way, look at this. Right in the, right in the smack of it. Messy, but it gets the job done. And what do these genies actually do? Why aren't they up front attacking? I made sure he's in range of everything. Is it because he's not technically in range yet? Okay, so once he, no, what the heck? What does the genie actually do? It wasn't doing anything. That was super weird. This is just a waste of time. Okay, but now we're on double HP Moabs and we know how this one rolls. So what we're gonna do is the same thing we've been doing. Not really, we're gonna change it up actually a little bit. 
if I can rock with this one first. So all the way up. Yes. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That's actually really clean. Can he rock the whole thing or no? Almost, almost. Oh, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. And then I think what we can do is just grab this one as like a, a little love cleanup there. Oh, cool, cool, cool. No problems. And we just need $1,500. Now, I need you guys to let me know below, is that actually causing us problems? Like saving up $1,500 with these balloons making as far back as they are is pretty slow in my opinion. But again, we are in an advanced map and there's other maps that are gonna be hard too, like cargo. Imagine that one where you have to place everything in the middle of the map because there's two different entrances and exits, whatever. And that's gonna be kind of crazy. We actually haven't done a double map yet, have we? Like a two laned map yet. That's gonna really put a hang up in some of this stuff. We haven't even tested the water. Oh my gosh, we gotta take it farther, guys. I've been doing all these one laners thinking I'm so cool. Well, actually we did shoots and that was pretty rough to be honest. Yeah, shoots was our last place. <gasps> I just had an assumption. I'm the worst player ever. Every single map has been a single trail except for the one that wasn't and it was bad. I did really, 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 really bad. But I think we're good to do 750 now. I'm just gonna go slow just to be safe and then because I don't wanna screw it up and then we're okay. Yeah, so that's good. We just need to do it in the same round and with $1,500. Other than that, we're clean. Now we just need something to hold us back and kind of speed this up a little bit. So I'm gonna go with a fire wizard so I can start farming a little bit. Cause farming with this is just completely ridiculous and it's gonna be awesome. But then I'm thinking, I don't think I have the monkey knowledge yet for the wall of fire wizard because I believe if you have monkey knowledge, it's pretty much instant uptime and it kind of stays that way forever. So let's see once we get these little monkey and scents and stuff and does it ever drop it does drop for a good amount of time and it's not supposed to that is kind of weird actually so maybe i should add a ballista here just to like clean up more i just oh man i'm just buying some stupid stuff let me tell you and i think the only way to take down 40 on this is going to be this one so i'm going to try to see if this will help us out a little bit because that 36 kind of wrecked us a little bit now if i can get this one and then moab assassin you guys know how this works i don't think we should ever go with anything else because this seems to be the best way to take down the round 40 Moab on double HP. And then by the time we get to 50, we're supposed to have a way bigger defense. But until somebody tells me otherwise, I don't think there's a better way to do it because it's just such a big thing. And then once we get rid of this, we can actually use it to buy more stuff. Like we can sell it and make some big money here. So let's, it's just the timing so you can go as fast as possible. There we go. Now we sell it Buy this one all the way up. Oh my God. I love that. It's so clean to me. Now we have two farms right after 40. And then I think we can make this a little stupid. Just put this guy here. And <laughs> now we have this guy. This guy's literally keep him at the fence. That's really cool. Should we give him fire too? Just to make it more stupid. Oh no. Cause the purple, that is so silly. That was really funny actually. Oh my gosh. That was my fault. All right. So how do we get rid of that one easily? I think we go with. Let's do this. We'll go one, two. Oh my God, that's so much money. $3,000, but it's okay. And then what we'll do is we'll grab a, oh no, we need double HP. We got a lot of stuff here to take down. This is not good. Okay, okay, don't do stupid, don't be stupid. Okay, dude, come on. Why do I keep making stupid mistakes? My head just goes blank like my head is gone. Like there's no head there and it's just stuck in stupid land. All right, don't be dumb. Let's do this. Find a place to put this guy and we'll go like this. And we'll get him some camo for now just to make it easy till we think of something else. So I sold the ballista right here just to put another one there. I think that'll be a safe route. And then we, what we can do is put another one here, hopefully. And this will kind of just be like a little death area for the Moabs. We're getting a lot of money. And then we can put a village here. It didn't do Jack. Did it, really? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. And I, I thought I had way more. Oh, this stresses me out so much. I just make stupid mistakes and it's because I'm using Geraldo. If I just put Sada up front, we would have zero problems. But I'm trying to be clever and creative and I'm just not that guy. I'm not clever, I'm not creative. I just wanna plop some towers down and go kaplooey and I'm making it harder than it needs to be. This time I already have a 200 farm by 30. I just went with the druid to keep us going safe. I think that's gonna be a safe plan going from here on out. I don't like overusing the druid, but do you guys do the same thing? Do you just have a couple towers that you just always use just because why not? Like if we're going for speed, we should use something that's fast and the Druid's always there. I just, it's just more of a personal, like it just kind of gets boring for me. That's why I don't like doing it all the time. But at the same time, like why sit there and struggle? Cause like, what are we gonna do on Impopable? We need as much money as we can possibly get. And then it's just, oh man, I get so stressed at this game. It's so stressful. I'm supposed to just be chilling, having a good time. And then I just do stupid things and I get overwhelmed. And then I think that 
That didn't look like that many yellow balloons to me. It looked like a couple. And based on the first chunk of balloons that we lost all the stuff to, it looked like for sure that we'd have enough to live, and that was not the case. So here's how we're gonna play this one. You guys know the drill. We're gonna use this, 3285, there we go. And then we're gonna use it, sell it, use it, sell it, make sure we don't mess up here. And then we're gonna go like this, put this guy here, all the way up. We can go faster too, what are we doing? We can go like that, and now we can buy a camo for now for this guy. And that'll cover all of our camo purples that we're about to see and all the other camo junk. Now we have a camo overdrive. Now we can farm real quick. Dude, you still can't hit it? What's going on? Why? Why? What is this guy doing with his life? This is actually kind of upsetting to be how bad it is. Just, dude, what are you doing? I did not expect that. Am I, like, blocked off? I think I should add Jerry to him as well. Just give him every little bit that he can. And then I think once I'm done greeting with these farms, I think the best play would be just to save this one up until I can buy the tax zone with this one. Then I'll still have four farms and a strong guy that can take down all the Moab class, I think. Let's see how this works right now. But this guy should be our cleanup, at least the solid cleanup. But maybe here just in case for now, like an actual cleanup. Let's see. Oh my gosh, he doesn't even pop it down. He doesn't even pop it down. This is so sick to me. That was so sick. Okay. So what are we going to do since this thing sucks? Like really sucks. Let's actually sell this one and sell this one. Oh, I did it again. Did it again. Oh my gosh. He can't pop camo. This is the worst run I've ever done in my life. Like I've had some bad plays on shoots, but this is garbage. Okay, just come on, buddy. You got this. Okay, he actually is popping the Moabs down. Thank you, baby Jesus. I don't know if this is going to be a solid play. I'm thinking I put him too far back, and we can maybe move him back here when we go to chimps mode. I think that's probably a better play. And then put the ice monkey up top. That's probably the smarter plan. But then that means I can't get a village to it unless I place it here. Ooh, that's actually kind of a tough thing now I'm thinking about it. Oh, can I give him sharpening stone too to make it even better? Yeah, I should have done that in the beginning. We can do it. Can we do it? Okay. And then I think a specters is probably the smarter plan here just to make sure I'm safe. Now I'm kind of rethinking my plan of getting the attack zone for champs. Maybe we should go with the specter first. I just know the attack's a better tower. I know the juggernauts are play, but don't we want everything to kind of like not go all the way back here? So far, so good. I mean, couldn't ask for a better play, I guess. And then just place this one here too. I just actually thought that we have half cash next and I don't even know where to start. I think we should actually get our Geraldo at 1500 still so we can get the uh, Quincy thing. I know it'll make half the cash, but half the cash is still better than none of the cash. And we don't necessarily need him early on, except for like maybe glue and stuff. So I'm thinking we should wait a while to get him. But then I'm thinking, what do we use for an actual tower? Like a few darts? Or should we just get rid of Geraldo completely? But here's 80 and I think we got it. That was actually really easy. So not too bad once you get it going. But then I'm, I'm bad at the game, so then I messed that up. But we are now on to half cash. We get to spin around this circle a bunch of times, right? So if we start with this guy, I think we'll be okay. And then maybe place a dart right here. That can like see up the track maybe, or down the track. How about right there? This boomer might actually save our lives since it spins around so much. So this, this middle part of the track makes it not as advanced as you'd think it would be because you have so many different times to attack it. And I think this is another one that we're going to drag it out to the middle because if we can place our juggernaut here, he's a cheaper fifth tier so we can actually make it work and then just wait for everything to come to the middle, which is going to be really slow once the BFBs and ZOMGs come out. But I mean, you got to do what you got to do, I guess. This is a zero, zero boomerang and a zero dart. And we're actually making it pretty far into half cash. I'm not, I'm not disappointed. This is really cool. Now, do I see us getting 1500 anytime soon? Not really, but I mean, maybe. Dude, we haven't even, okay, I spoke too soon, but we haven't even lost a life yet. Well, we still didn't lose a life. We have our spikes at the end. I'm actually just gonna do it. I'm gonna go for Geraldo and get the Quincy. I know it's not the best play, but I can quickly just upgrade this guy afterwards and hopefully I don't get like totally demolished doing that and we can make this work. If not, I'll buy this guy and then we wasted all this time not upgrading him sooner. You know, the whole shebang, how we usually do it. But I think we can make this work. And it's because I have monkey knowledge because this has two boomerangs, if you couldn't tell. Like he's shooting two of them, which makes us automatically have like what double pierce right and double damage which is cool still have our mana shield that's awesome so i'm gonna do it once we get 1500 i think i can do this let's see let's see and then we'll place it down quincy boy there we go yes that is so cool watch us lose now though that'd be pretty funny okay i'm just gonna click like crazy and get all these improved rings and stuff i think that's our only saving grace because i i waited too long to buy stuff but we're doing really good and now we have his attack ability too which isn't the best but it's something 
We're legit get, getting demolished here, actually. This is really bad. And it, why doesn't this play stuff? Why does he not play stuff? Just place it down, you big dumb. Oh, dude, this game drives me nuts. I'm sitting there. It's not placing anything. Oh, my goodness. Okay. This time I said forget it to Geraldo. We'll get him later. I think this tower will save us in the long run. It'll be a little slower to get us going. But once we have this, we won't lose anymore because now he can just clean up everything on his own. We got to worry about the leads a little bit. But once we get this red hot rings, we're golden. Look at that. That is such a satisfying tower on this map. Like, it's great. And we'll just eat the first camo because I don't care. I'm done with this. We're going to win this one now. Okay, way better plan. Yeah, we get him way later. Like, way later. But now, now when I place his little Garbo tower down, I can grab his Quincy, make the money, and now we're good to go. And now we're not going to lose because we have a really strong tower. And then I can get him some camo for 33. This is the plan. This is the way and it'll work for sure. So go like this. Now we got camo. Oh, wow. We can't actually fight zebras or ceramics either. Ooh, man. This is starting to wear on me pretty hardcore. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. So I think what we're going to have to do then is just get a bomb if we can afford it or place it. But then we're not going to be able to take down the Moab. So I think we have one saving grace to take down the Moab. That's if we can use this one and it pops it actually down. But I don't think it's going to do it. No, it won't. You know it won't. So I have to go like this and then hope it just takes it. Not a chance. Gosh, dang it. This is this is too stressful. Geraldo sucks. He's only good for the beginner stuff. Let me tell you, he's just not good right now. And I don't have enough for that either. And I don't have enough for the other guy. So I have to sell it after it goes. So I have to like sell this guy and now use this one. Okay, that was really ugly. Very, very, very ugly. And this guy can't take down zebras. When, when was that a thing? I think we just need to cool a breather and see where we're at here and then maybe sell this one and buy this one. I think this is what we got to do here. All the way up. There we go. And then we'll buy this with a camo. I don't care what round it is. And that's it. That's all we can do, really. I don't know if this is good enough. It's going to be bad for when the Moabs come, but it's the best we can come up with. Oh, this is stressful. This is actually really stressful for me. Okay, so now what, what, what can we do here? We need something that's actually good. So maybe like a bomb too, or I think the boomer is good, but then what about what about actual... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. No, no, we can't do that. We can't do that. That was a bad idea. Bad idea. Let's just get this one here, and we'll get this one. So I'm thinking the only thing I can do for a Moab is just put this guy right here and just hope for the best, honestly. But unfortunately, I have no more camo, so if we need it, we're done for. But I need to put like this guy here too. We need to just double fire. Okay, that'll work. That'll work for now. I see more camo so we don't lose to this. And there it is. There's our problem. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think we'll just have to use the other one. <sighs> just breathe, just breathe, just breathe. I think we got this. And we'll just go like this. Okay, there we go. That's fine. I don't care. What I am disappointed in is how much money this isn't. And I guess it can't exponentially grow since it's now it's like half of the cash each round. But this is so weak. I don't know if I'm actually going to ever have enough to get a juggernaut. Like, I would on a normal one, so having the extra money should help. But, like, I mean, that sells for 2000 Are we good? Okay, we're good. I think I need to add another Jerry here, huh? Like, fire to that one, too. Okay, how are we going to take this bad boy down? So, I do need Jerry's fire. We'll see if we can make it work. Hopefully, hopefully. If we need to, we'll hit this one. We don't need to, though, right? Nope. Dude, I'm so sick. I'm so sick of that. I'm so sick of it not going on the track when it's like on the track. That just oh, that sends me to my grave. Oh my goodness. Okay, this thing is worth 3,500 bucks. That would put us at $10,000. That'll put us at $12,000. Let's just actually, I gotta take a breather. I can't do this. Okay, so how about this? We'll sell this one. And then for now, just in case for until who knows when, we'll do that. That should be game to be honest. I'll get camo first just to be safe. Watch it not be able to take out fortifies. Okay, it can, it can. Oh my god, that was going to be super scary. Can it take out two BFBs? It should, right? Yeah, with the little bounce back thing. Oh, I didn't realize though. That actually hurts it. If I could put that one back, it'd be better off. That's crazy. So I have to remind myself on chimps and impoppable to leave it like that so everything can just sit in the middle. Now, I think what I need to do is for 80 is to get a Moab assassin. I think that's the best way to take this out just so we don't have any problems. And then I have genie flamed everybody, so that should work. And then the Moab assassin plus the genie. How come the genie only works sometimes? What is that about? That's super weird to me. But he has a flame on him too, so I figured that would be kind of cool. 
We can use this one, use the assassin. Okay, we made up some time there. We're still not in the worst spot of our lives, but I just was getting flustered. If you couldn't tell by my demeanor, I was getting kind of upset there. That was just, oh, just everything I was doing was not working out and it was very stressful. But this should be okay right there. And then now seeking shurikens. Now it should be enough to cover it, hopefully. And then we'll have to get a lead popper, which isn't gonna be that guy. So we'll figure something out there. See, I don't think there's any denying it that putting Sada up front would be better. I really just think that's a better play. And you know what? That's just where we're gonna be at with that. But I think I am gonna grab a sniper here just for the leads and then we'll do something about the camo leads a little later on. This will be a solid, at least movement towards the right direction so we don't lose early on. I just wish we could get a sub. That'd make everything so much easier. Oh, it looks like we're gonna be barely short. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. Like just in the nick of time right there because you get him on the end of 10. And what's just the big bummer about Jerry is that when you get him, you're not doing anything. At least with Ben, you get an ability right off the go and that ability can help. But this guy just kind of like, yeah, you know what I mean? It's like not the best. We'll put him back here this time, just in case we want to use that spot for somebody else. No, 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 don't do that, don't do that. Okay, it sucks having to slow that down, but I mean, it's the best shot we got. Now for this one, I think we'll just go with camo on it just to make it easy for ourselves. Oh my gosh, here's what I'm working with here. I need to do something else. That's not gonna work. Oh, dude, just keep messing up. I just don't want to get camo and I'm just so used to having Sada that it's, it's just really sick when you don't have camo or like Etienne or something. And it's just, it's really, really making this harder than it needs to be. And now I'm really worried about the Moab as well. And this isn't doing as much as I thought he would do. It's kind of sad to be honest, but with this one, it should be okay, a little bit better. And then for the Moab, I really don't know what to do. I'm thinking a sniper, but I chose like the bad sniper for now. And so, oh, and I love how good the alchemist is. <laughs> That's such a joke, dude. Oh my goodness. For that first round, let's just do this. Oh my gosh, I don't have enough for it. You're kidding me. God, I, I'm just, oh my goodness. We're so broke. Then I thought that would happen. There we go. Let's just do this thing. There we go, just for now. Okay, we're just gonna do this. Keep this guy in Moab shove position. Dude, I'm losing a lot here. So I think what we'll do, just to be on the safe side, because we're good at cleaning up. I say that and we can't even get past camo. We'll do this one and then we'll buy a Geraldo here. Okay, constantly feels like I'm scrambling. So I'm just buying everything I can that can see camo. And so I bought a ninja here and then I'm gonna buy this guy. I have two farms, but it's just it's just not working out how I planned. So I think what the best plan of attack here, is this gonna work? I think it should. Yes, okay, those are really good towers though. I'm happy with these. Okay, so now I think what we should do, Attack zone would be cool, but it's not gonna take out as much as I would like it to, but I think it will speed this up a little bit. So I think attack's the best way to go. Nope, nope, we're gonna lose there too. Wow, I just was not expecting this. This is really bad. So I think what we'll do is just sell this right now then 21,600. Okay, we're almost there, I guess. I might as well, don't wanna mess it up for no reason. Okay, so now that should be like golden right there. Give him some camo. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think it's a good idea to use Geraldo on chimps, I really don't. I think he's gonna let us down like hardcore. Dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy smokes, like this is so bad. Everybody's so bad. Let's just do this and then just call it a day. I just, I just can't do it. We're just gonna have to take it longer than it needs to take. This is just redonkulous. Every tower is so bad. But I think what we should do is this though real quick. We'll do this and then buy the discount one. No, that was a stupid idea. That was a really stupid idea. I was gonna try to get him more money, but then I realized I wouldn't even have camo or that one. So let's just stick with this one and then we'll buy a plane on top of that. But I think this is our best chance of action, just doing this, letting him clean it up. And that's what we're gonna have to do for Impoppable 2. We are still making really good time. We're gonna beat some beginner maps and definitely we're gonna beat that expert map because I don't see us being that much longer after this one. Like I'm done losing, I feel it, but we, luckily we, less, we lost early enough that it won't completely destroy our lives, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna get this guy all the way up to here. We need $23,000, these are worth 10,000, so we're almost there, there. All right, so now that we're on 79, we can put another genie down. We'll sell both of these, buy our crossbow master, buy a flame on him so he gets some more damage. Would giving this guy pickles matter or not really? Kind of cool though, right? Then we can just do like this and be like, get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. I was getting really frustrated at those things because we're not going anywhere I needed them to go. Oh, come on, man. Don't do this. My morale is so down in the dumps right now for this run. Like it just needs to work out perfectly. We're never going to quit. That's the thing. Like I'll always redo it and always go after it again. 
but I'm just kind of bummed at the results here. So we're just gonna get this guy because it worked last time and we're just gonna go with this one. I don't remember which one we actually did this on to begin with. Was it on half cash? That's where it was, right? So I actually might have enough to not have to upgrade this guy fully before we can move on. But we also can't lose any lives because it's impoppable. So all we have are those spikes of bomb. So it might be better to go with the Glive Ricochet, make sure it's safe and then get the little guy. And the problem I'm having and what I'm realizing is that when I'm going for Jerry's Quincy action figure this early on, the downside is, is that we're not getting actually money right away. We're getting absolutely nothing for it. He's not a great attacking tower. His money doesn't come to you right away. So you're basically just wasting, <laughs> wasting money in the beginning. So we need to figure out a better way of maybe like start farming earlier or something. Here's that 1500. Let's see if we can place him here. Okay, let's wait till the next round though so we don't mess it up. And we'll buy this one, buy this one. There we go. Now we got our stuff going here. He's helping out a very, very small amount, but he's there. And now we need something for camo. I'm just going to use him for early camo i think i think that's the best idea here it's actually really good i really like this tower see he's good he's worthy of my time right now because he's kicking some butts so what should i do then get like a more glaze that's like a lot of money early on that i don't need to spend i mean it's worth it though and it can clean up anything but i'm gonna eventually get rid of this guy i'll just get it for now i guess or honestly it's just for cleanup let's do this instead i don't want to spend that much money i just feel like it's a waste so i'm gonna go one two three like this That'll be cool. And then for 35, we need camo. So I'm going to put this guy there. And as far as the Moab, I don't really know. So I'm just going to go with the Moab Mauler I placed over there and hope that it works. And then what I'm going to do is use my boy Quincy, not Quincy, whatever this guy's name is, for this one. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go like this, and then we're going to just place this one here and then chop it down. There we go. That's easy. So now I'm trying to like decide if I should greed or go with this Juggernaut and then camo the Juggernaut instead and get rid of this guy because he's good, but I think I could do better. Okay, Juggernaut, 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 there we go. And then we'll camo our Juggernaut. I do need more money, but I know as soon as I get Juggernaut, we're home safe, so I'm thinking I should just go ahead and get it. Because look how good the regular Juggernaut is. So if you have Ultra, you're just asking for like mayhem and craziness. And we got all these Moabs coming after us. Maybe it is better just to get that thing called a day. Let's see if we can handle this actually. Oh wow, we're good. We're good. No, 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 no. I have realized what happens here. This has happened to me many a times. I forget that I'm impoppable, then I lose. So we're gonna go like this, and we'll go like this. There we go. And now we're gonna sell this, sell this, buy this. There we go. Oh no, buy attack. There you go. Buy attack, and then lose to a pink. Just breathe. Just breathe. Just know guys that this happens to everybody. It just, it happens and it, it happens and that's all there is to it. I'm gonna buy a Jerry Fire instead actually cause that was driving me nuts. Let's just do that instead. Can you do it? Okay genius, you got this. I cannot believe that actually happened. That actually made me really mad. Just buy the stupid juggernaut. Like seriously though, seriously? Okay, buy the camo. Okay, now we're safe, but we're already in the 50s. I mean, come on, how long is it gonna take? And I would like to get, oh actually though, that's just, let's just do this. Let's do 500 and then we can get the other guy. Oh, that's perfect. But then I have to move this one for a thousand. That's a lot of money. Oh my gosh, just to get this one a little cheaper. That's funny. Okay, so what the plan is though, is to get this one, make have him make a ton of money, and then we'll do our normal farming, and then we'll get a flying fortress and it'll end this thing way quicker. That's the plan here. Because luckily, Juggernaut is perfect for this map. So we're gonna buy this monkey city. We're going to sell this, place a farm here, and then do that. There we go. And then we'll buy another farm. Maybe up here if we can get it. Oh, actually, let's make this range a little bigger so we can use it. Now we have enough to actually buy that one with our other guy, so we'll use that. Now we're caught back up to where we usually would be, I think. So I've gotten three farms all in range of the village for discounts, but then I realize I don't have this guy going, and I think that's actually important because that, that's all I need is to like lose this late in. But so far we haven't lost, we're doing better than we were. And it's a little slower. It's unfortunate that I have to make it take all the way to the middle. But once we get three farms going, we're gonna get our plane going and I think things will actually be a lot better for us. So that's what I'm hoping anyway. And remember, we're getting more pops every time this guy pops in range of that thing, which we are, which is awesome. It's kind of a bummer though that the plane doesn't fit right here. That's where I need it to be. But I guess this will be fine and this won't have camo for a while. And if we really need camo, we'll do something. But that's supposed to be for like DDT, so we'll be okay. Okay, now we're speeding it up. There we go. I do want one more farm. I'm going to be a little greedy and I'll tell you why, because we need to hurry this up. We need to hurry this up as fast as we possibly can, to be honest. I don't know if I should just give him the camo eyes from Jerry or just not worry about it because it's more time I have to think about stuff. And we're only rarely getting camo balloons anymore that aren't 
incorporated with Moab, so then it's still taking time to get there. So I think we're okay. And then I'm gonna put this guy here. We're gonna go all the way up on this one. All right, here's my last guy. Now I've seen $180,000 but I wanna make sure he's strong enough. So we're gonna put like 20 of these guys and then we'll do that little thing where you buy them up zero to zero, whatever. And then we should have it by the 90s and speed through the 90s for sure. That's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 24, 25. There we go. Now I just have to go one, two, one, two. All right, now we're ready. Okay, we see 180 and these sell for 88, 98. I don't know, it's enough for crying out loud. I'm done. Just do it. All of them, all the money. Okay, now we should be okay. And just as a last second cleanup in case something gets through, we'll just use this guy. You can't jerry fire a paragonist? That's silly. Okay, now this is as fast as you could possibly go on this, that's for sure. And then let's do this too to make it even a little bit crazier. We can use a Moab Eliminator on, on 100 as well. Make it even faster. I don't know how much faster you can go when you have a level 37 paragon here, but it might work. Okay, there we go. That made up a lot of time. We're only at 228, that's not terrible. So we can knock this out real quick. Okay, we're going to chimps mode and we're using Jerry. I don't want to, not even the slightest, but what we can do is we can start with this guy right here like we just did and do this. Oh, it's gonna work for sure, for sure. Look, I can get his Paragon now. Finally, we can get Boomer Paragon, guys. That's actually really cool. Okay, okay, let's not and say we didn't. 300. Oh, we don't have the double thing anymore. This might actually work, guys. This isn't gonna work. Fudge. Okay. So the problem is we don't have the double boomerang that we used to have. So what we'll do is we'll put a dart in the back, I guess, like right here as a cleanup. And then we still die. Oh my goodness, this guy sucks too. Why is everyone so bad? What about a druid? Will he be okay? Like back here maybe? And then maybe a dart too? Like can they just do everything together? Probably not, huh? Once I get the like the beginning part down like this, we are done. It'll be super simple, I promise. I just have to get there, and that's what's kind of causing me problems, and sure enough. Oh no, he, he sniped that thing across the map, and that one he did not. So the, don't do this to me. How about this guy then? Because he's really good sometimes. Oh jeez, this guy is just, this is killing me. This is actually killing me. How about this then? That's not gonna, what am I thinking? Why would that work? That's the worst idea I've ever had in my life. So the best thing we can do here is go with the terrible, terrible boomer. The one that has no long range, just so we can get this one and have it speed up a little bit, I guess. Oh my gosh, I almost had it. I almost had it with the boomerang and then he decided just to, to, to whiff it. So I'm thinking no long range then. Just go straight for glives and then buy something else. Like maybe a sniper if I can afford it. I should have at least tested a chimp start before diving into this. That's kind of, you know, that's my fault. What are you gonna do, I guess? Maybe a glue gunner at the beginning. It's just, this isn't working. This is super bad. This is super terrible. Oh my God almighty. Don't run into a chimps mode unless you test it out. That's all I'm trying to say. Just don't do it. Let's put this guy here then. I'm gonna put him on strong, I guess. That Maybe that might help. You forget how important monkey knowledge is. Like it's wild how important it is. Oh, and then we still lose, woohoo! You know what's kind of discerning is that I could have just used Sada and we'd be fine already, but I'm just a determined kind of guy. Like, do you ever get like that where you just, you can't stop? You're just like, okay, well we're there. I have to keep it moving. And that's where I'm at. And that's what I'm doing right now. Like we've already made it this far. You might as well just keep on going and struggling. Um, I think what I'll do this time is just get Geraldo because this seems to be working. I have a sniper on first, two dart monkeys, and then I got a boomer. And I wanted to go for the full boomer, but I just don't think it's gonna happen. So we'll get Geraldo first, I think, like right here maybe. How about right there so he can help out a couple times? Boom, there we go. He's not the best, but he'll work. And then what I'm thinking is, worst case scenario, I can put down one of these things at the last second. I know it won't go where I need it to go, but I mean, if it does, hurrah, like right there, right there. See what I'm saying? He is the worst hero. I'm done with him. I have, I will never use him after this, guys. I apologize. I know everybody likes it, and I know I'm just bad with him. But I just dragged that stupid spike to the back of the map and lost. Like, that's pretty garbage to me, honestly. Like, what good is it if it's not going to work? I honestly don't even want to get Geraldo. Like, I don't even want to get him. All right, Geraldo can eat it. I'm going to get Glive Ricochet first. It seems to be working. Okay, so I had a sniper on strong once I had this guy going. And now we're good. Like, I don't see us having any problems at all. Maybe on 24 if I forget to buy camo. But what I'm going for here is to buy Geraldo first. Yes, okay, cool. We'll get the little stupid Geraldo, and then we'll have camo for the other guy. Or we can actually just use spikes. That's cheaper than buying one round of camo. Huh? I never thought of that, actually. It's actually a better, way better idea. 
Let's do that. So you just buy this one. Probably won't work. Okay, there we go. That worked. Cool, cool, cool. Then we can move this one. Put this guy here. And I think the best option here would be to use the camo on the boomerang on 33. Right? I think so. Yes. That'll probably be the best option there. There we go. Dude, he's actually not good at this, huh? Oh, no. That's not good. We'll have to get our spikes ready just in case. There. There we go. Okay, that was that was dangerous. And now I'm going to buy a sniper. I didn't want to for this game, but I think I'm going to need to just to take down that Moab. And then we can clean it up with everything underneath. And I need to be ready like at all times with camo here in case it messes up or like spikes or something, huh? Can you take it? Can you take it? Yes, he can. He took it. There we go. That's all we needed. And now by the time this guy gets down here, we'll clean it up for sure. And then we'll have the little thing here just in case. I just won't buy anything else so we can have the little spinny thing. I had a feeling like once we got here, we'd be okay. It's just I didn't know that beginning was going to cause that much trouble. And just Geraldo's just not... Like, you have to be a trained geraldo in, And I, I'm not... That's not me, guys. That's just not me. But I'm going to do this, though, and just slow it down just in case. We don't even need to. Oh, my goodness. That's really good. And then for 42, we actually have enough to buy this one. And then I believe we'll have enough for this. I'm going to try to get in range of everybody. That would be awesome. Do I have enough for this one on its own naturally? Yes, I do. Okay, cool, 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 cool. See, and then not right now, but once we get Ultra Juggernaut, what we're going to do is we're going to buy another village here to try to boost this one over there. So we'll spend the $1,000 and hope it works. And I think it will, to be honest. I'm just, I just don't feel safe though. Let's just get this just in case. I don't feel safe with that. That was too much. We're almost there. I think this will work. I really do. I'm almost to the 16,000. So I don't think I need to buy like a main Moab. I really hope I don't. But we know how that usually goes. But if I can get this one more, one more. Yes. Okay. We're good. We are golden. Now, if I buy this one and buy one more village, it should be enough. I'm going to waste 1200 bucks because I won't know until it happens. But that's the plan here. And then when I get this, just kind of a waste. Okay. That does put him in range, but not him, unfortunately. And we don't need another cleanup. So I think I kind of wasted it on that one. Oopsie. Oh, well, it's fine. And we'll just alk buff him so we don't have to think about it later. I'm contemplating super hard about what to do next. I have a couple ideas. If I went with an Apache Prime, it would work. Because this guy is the ultimate cleanup. So we would be fine. But then I'm thinking too, if I can place a Mad in a good spot, but which I have none of because I put these stupid guys there. I could put him like maybe here and have him shoot directly into the middle right there. And he'll take down everything as it spins around in a circle. And then this guy will clean it all up and will be perfect. Now, if I could place it anywhere else to where he could just like, actually, this might be okay, huh? If I broke this one down for a thousand. Oh, let's see if that'll work. Uh, that's not terrible. Not terrible. I'm going to do it. I know we always make this mistake and I'm like kind of bummed about it later, but you know what? I don't care. And then let's just see if this will actually shoot to the middle. And it does. So then if I had the mad there, it'll just be, but it'll also be chasing things too. Actually, that's not big. It's not a big deal. Let's just leave it. But I am going to use my bunny. I know it's like a lot of money. That's like thirty to sixty five hundred dollars. And that will probably be what we needed to get the mad before a certain round. But I'm also don't care because the bunny's really good. And then what we can do is we can use a genie to like save our butts if we're about to lose and then buy a different tower. Like, for instance, the Apache Primes. Well, we won't have the Apache Prime, but we can use the Apache to clean up. Or all we need is 40,000 and I can throw a perma spike at the back and that's a guaranteed win. We just have to make sure that we like, you know, do that in time. Funnily enough though, I don't know if this guy can actually take down ZOMGs. I didn't test that. It should, but can it take down several? Oh man, I could have screwed up already. What a dummy. <laughs> but I got my Bunicula thing here and I'm hoping he does a lot of damage. I've never actually seen what he can do, but it seems like it's good enough. And all I need him to do is like, like slowly eat away at the slow ZOMGs and that'll be super helpful. But I always try to go for the mat. I think it's a bad idea. Here's the test of truth. Let's see if we can do it. I think we can, but it depends, <laughs> honestly. Oh, we're actually really good. Okay, no big deal. I just, how long is it going to take to get the mad, you know? And then what happens if hit one of his rockets miss a DDT and then the whole game's over because of that? Like, that's the kind of stuff that I really don't want to deal with and it could happen. So what I think we can do is get the mad and then put a glue gunner up front with the little camo eyes or something past 90 and that should do enough for us. But we're not going to have it before 90 and if we don't, well, we need it before 90. If we don't have the mad before 90, we're done for. That's all there is to it. This just gets harder and harder. Now it's fortified Z BFBs, which we should be fine. We're only 10,000 away. These things aren't giving me no money though. And now we got like, what, like 37 of these? That's not good. I think what we'll do is, uh, 
I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We'll lock it in with some fire and then we'll use our ability here too, just to make sure because we were pretty close on the other one, so now we'll be okay. Oh yeah, we're fine now. What's a bummer is we'd have it if I didn't buy the, um, if I didn't buy the bunny, we'd have it right now. I knew that would happen. <laughs> I knew that would happen, but we still might be able to pull it off. Are we gonna be able to do this though? I don't think we can. I really don't think we can. Maybe? Dude, you saved my butt right there. Oh my goodness. We're actually gonna get it? No way. Okay, we got it, we got it. Oh my goodness. And look at him shooting at the wall. I had a feeling. Is this gonna be fast enough for him though? Or should I just put him up here? I don't know, whatever, just leave him here, I guess. That's all I was worried about, DDTs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give him a little bit of this. I'm gonna give him a little bit of that. Now he's strong, he's super strong. And then just in case, we'll do something like this. We'll slow it down if it gets too far past us. How about that? And then we'll go like this. Like that, there we go. I think we got this. I don't know if it's the fastest, but it'll work. Oh wow, he's just taking him out. That is sick. Okay, good, 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 good. You keep it up there, buddy. What a, what a beast, what a beast. I'm actually just nervous. I don't even know what to do now. I'm just like rolling with it. Uh, let's get this one to camo so we can take down. No, we don't even need to take down. Why do we need to take down camo? Who cares? Let's do this for good measure and give him some camo eyes. He'll take down those ones. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're doing this. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. This is a really dumb play. I don't know what I was thinking, to be honest. I just bought my glue up too, hoping that'll help. I'm going to slow it down though, just because. Why not? Can he take all those out? He can. Oh my god, he can. He can. He can do this. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm going to do this right now, just to take out these ones on 99, because I don't want to screw around with it. And then the big old mad bad thingy, I think we got this. I can, I'm going to take him out fast. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. Look how fast this is. Okay. Oh my gosh, yes. Please do this. Slow it down. Slow it down. <sighs> okay, let's just hit the button. See what we get. FN9. 257.06. That puts us at... Oh, actually, not terrible. Oh my goodness. That puts us above Monkey Meadow. Granted, Monkey Meadow was our very first map, so we had all those pop-ups, and we had like two towers to work with that had experience. But that will put us at a clean 16th place. <laughs> but it beat our expert map, Glacier Trail. And it beat our worst map, Shoots, which was also an intermediate map. So, we're doing... That wasn't the worst. My complaining was the worst. And I thank you guys for staying this whole time. And if you enjoyed it, hit that like button because it helps more people see this. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. I have 2,000 votes on my poll asking what my monkey name should be. And so, it is officially going to be Curious George. So, let's place him down real quick. Apparently, I have to buy it first. Let's do that. Now we can go back and name him Curious George. I love it actually. That's actually a cool name for this little monkey. And remember to let me know below what you want your boomerang monkey to be. As far as monkey knowledge, I'm gonna buy this one. Ninja Double Shot reduced by 100 because we have been using Double Shot a lot. So I think that'll help for alternate balloon rounds. We still have a good ways to go on monkey knowledge and we're getting our points slower and slower now that we're level 111 with 20 medals. Oh my goodness. I can't believe we just did that one. I think in the future we need to work on maps that we've worked on before. Doing this chimps on a one, like going in blind, never playing it more than once is a very dumb idea. But I loved it. I hope you guys did too. And if you haven't yet, check out this video where we do a full black border run on Cubism, which happens to be our fastest time yet by far. And it's an amazing run, so you have to see how we do it.